Today I'm reacting to a video that was sent to me on an aggressive beta fish attacking other fish. We're gonna do a deep dive on this and dissect the issue of what's going on and how to fix this. So let's play the video. So this appears to be a beta fish, a male beta fish in a bowl. So that is the first issue. The fish is in a bowl and that appears to be, looks like an angel fish. So the fact that you're putting an angel fish inside of a bowl really kind of irks me the wrong way if I'm being completely honest. Not only that, but the beta fish shouldn't be in a bowl. So betas need five gallons minimum and bowls are kind of just like looked at, looked at as terrible. So yes, this is a beta fish attacking other fish. This is what they are going to do. The whole name, Japanese fighting fish, does that ring a bell? And again, we're reacting to this guy's channel, Robin S. Das. Go ahead and check out the video or his channel if you want. This was sent to me. Uh, so yeah, beta fish are not supposed to be kept with other fish as in general, especially for beginners. So here's another video that was sent to me. Let's click play here. It says beta fish attacking dwarf garage. So here's the thing with beta fish, guys. The reason they are attacking other fish in your aquarium is because you need to have certain tank mates with beta fish. They are considered extremely, what's the word, aggressive. Uh, the whole Siamese fighting fish, Japanese fighting fish, like they will fight to the death and there's sort of just no way around it. So here is the dwarf garami in here. Is that a dwarf? It actually looks like maybe a gold. It's, yeah. So here's the thing guys, that some beta fish get along with tank mates and some of them don't. And this beta fish obviously is not getting along with them. You know, like some tank mates could be like neon tetras. You know, there's a handful of them, some Coriodorus, and how you can fix some of these aggression issues is by adding a lot of decorations to the tank as well. But that being said, some beta fish just cannot be kept with other fish. So this kind of sucks that someone even sent this to me. Let's take a look at this channel quick here. So here's the channel we're reacting to. It's called Hobbies, Beta Fish Attacking Dwarf Girl. I don't think this person should be like excited about this, but we are reacting to it and someone sent it to me, so. And how you fix this issue of your beta fish attacking other fish or like aggressiveness, you don't put it with other fish. You set up an aquarium, a solo tank, a fish only, single species, and you just let the fish do its thing. Maybe you keep some snails with it. You know, aggressive betas, you know, there's not a lot of tank mates to choose from. Some of them are just psychos. It's just how it is. Usually if tank mates work with betas, it's because number one, the beta fish is really tame and kind of like laid back. And number two, the, the inhabitants or the tank mate essentially is too fast for them. Like a lot of tetras are a common choice or they're just, you know, small dither fish that can escape quite easily and they can outrun a beta fish, if that makes sense. Honestly, this is the kind of stuff that kind of pisses me off, so yeah, I'm just gonna be done with this. Uh, hit me up in the comments if you guys have any further questions or comments. Again, all the links will be in the description. Peace.